What is going on, beautiful people? I am Lee Hammett, the diagnosed self-aware narcissist known as Mental Illness, and welcome to another episode of A Narcissist Explains. In today's episode, we're going to be talking about how narcissistic people, toxic people, all of them don't hoover you. All of them don't try to get you back. Some will absolutely leave you alone and allow you to hoover yourself. The reverse hoover. Stay tuned, like, and subscribe. So y'all, all narcissists don't hoover you. Some, some, some narcissists will actually let you go and leave you alone, which will result in things like this sometimes where people are just like, what if the narc doesn't hoover? Are, are they a narcissist? Is it completely over? This is where the reverse hoover comes in a lot of times because you think that narciss all narcissistic people are going to hoover you or try to get back with you. They, if they don't reach out to you, if they leave you alone, then you end up reaching out to them. And you, in essence, you hoover yourself back into the relationship dynamic with them. So this is me as a narcissist. This is how I would get you. I would just leave you completely alone. I would, I, this is how I would do it. I would completely leave you alone and make you wonder like maybe maybe he's moved on maybe he's found somebody else maybe oh maybe he wasn't a narcissist because narcissists they hoover you hoover you and he just left me alone and then when you reach out to that narcissistic person in their minds you are saying that you are okay with everything they have done to you because they stopped contacting you they stopped reaching out to you you hoovered yourself back into it so if you want to be done let it be done so welcome back, welcome back, welcome back, y'all. So the good old reverse Hoover. Some people, like I said, all narcissists won't try to get you back. That's one of the things I hear most of the time on, on TikTok, Instagram, YouTube, Facebook, wherever I'm, you know, perusing the narcissistic content that day. Literally, everybody thinks narcissists are going to try to Hoover you back. Everybody keeps saying, everybody says the same thing over and over again. Like, no, all narcissists are going to try to Hoover you. All narcissists won't try to get you back. They might want you, they might want you back, but sometimes the narcissist pride gets in the way and they won't reach out to you. They won't ever contact you again. They'll go completely silent, which is what I would do. As a narcissist, if I was with you and we broke up, you broke up with me or something like that, I would go completely dark on you. You would you wouldn't hear from me. I guarantee it. You wouldn't know where I was, you wouldn't know what I was doing, you wouldn't know what the hell I had going on absolutely you absolutely wouldn't but that's how it would go i was just letting you know but that's how my mind would work i would not you would absolutely not know what was going on with me because i would go dark on you and then guess what if i if you learn about narcissists if you think you're dealing with a narcissistic person and you get into the situation where they are not hoovering you they're not trying to get you back you might th start to think hey i've watched so much content on narcissists and everybody says the narcissist will try all narcissists will try to hoover you well, my ex isn't trying to hoover me, so they must not be a narcissist. And guess what, Joe? Guess what you do? You reach out to them. You break no contact. You go back to them. And guess what? It gets worse. Why does it get worse, Lee? Why does it keep getting worse? Because every time you go back, you are saying you are okay with the previous relationship and how it went. Every time you go back, you are saying that you are okay with how it went. And but Lee, I'm not saying that. I just they promised me to change, and they don't get better. They get blah 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 blah. I get it. But in the narcissist's mind, you are absolutely saying that. You don't have to say it out loud. When you reach out to me, when you break no contact and you reverse Hoover yourself, you you came, you reached out to me. So it must have been not. It must not have been that bad. But Lee, we're trauma minded. Won't they don't don't they understand that? No, they don't. Look a narcissistic person in, in their face and tell them that you're trauma bonded to them. How do you think that would go? Honestly, how do you think that would go? Like, hey. I'm trauma bonded to you. What the hell you think they would say to you? You think, oh, I hate the fact that you're trauma bonded to me. Let's work to break that trauma bond. No, they're going to look at you like you're crazy as hell. and just like, I, what? What the hell is that? You've been on TikTok, have you? You've been on Instagram, have you? You've been on YouTube too much lately. That's what they're going to say to you. No narcissistic person is going to sit there and try to level with you, y'all. Especially if you break no contact. So, no, not all narcissistic people are going to reach out to you. They just won't. And guess what? This is what I see in my comment section all the time. Some people will say, well, it's been 16 days and I haven't, I haven't heard a peep. I haven't been Hoover. And they'll put a, a damn sad face or something like that. They'll actually be sad that the narcissist hasn't tried to Hoover them. Why wasn't I good enough to get Hoover? And then you'll fall into the trap. Some people want to be Hoovered, uh, which is like I said, I, I get it. But again, I don't get it. Some people want to be Hoover. Y'all, nobody wants to be Hoover. Go to my comment sections. You will see it. I'm not sitting here and lying to you, but Lee, you're a narcissist. You're on a lie. Okay, cool. Don't go through my conversation. Don't believe shit that I have to say. 
I'm just telling you what I see. Some people want to be Hoover. And I talk to people over Zoom literally every day. Some people want to be Hoover. Not a peep. I haven't heard a word in a few days. So I guess they are they not a narcissist? Oh, should I reach out to them? Why wasn't I good enough to get Hoover? I'm just telling you where people's mindset goes. They want, some people absolutely want to be Hoover because they want to feel like they were worth something. Everybody wants to know that they meant something. That, that, something that, everybody wants to know that they, that they meant something to their ex. They just do. They, they, they want to know that they matter. I just want to know that I mattered. And if they try to Hoover me, that means I matter. Even if they don't try to Hoover you, you could have mattered. So many people just tell you, you don't want to be Hoover, y'all. Some people, like, I do these little funny skits about narcissistic people not leave you alone. That's how it is in real life, though, y'all. I may get funny, but some people will pop up as the, co as the coach to your kid's team. Some people will pop up at your job. They, will pop, they won't leave you alone. They won't stop trying to Hoover you. They will exhaust you and make you, they'll drive you crazy and, you know, make sure that you can't move on, even if they have moved on. So, no, you don't, if you don't, if you're not Hoovered, consider yourself blessed. Cause some of y'all just like, I want to be Hoover, and then you get then there's the Hoover and stars, and you wish you would never got Hoover. Uh, I, I guess they're not a narcissist, and you reach back out to them, and you get treated worse. It's like a game, y'all. It's like a game that you're playing. Stop playing the game. Put down the damn narcissistic controller. Turn off the narcissistic TV, and work on yourself. You can do it. You can absolutely do it, y'all. You can. I get so many people on here that just sit here and uh, uh, like you want you don't want to be Hoover, y'all. If you're not being Hoovered, consider yourself lucky. Just do that because you've not. I'm just telling you, blessings are on your way. You just you just have to refuse, fight back fight back the Hoovering. You have to because, like I said, I will go if you reverse Hoover yourself because you're lonely or you're sad. The reason so the reason doesn't matter. If you reach out to that narcissistic person and you reverse Hoover yourself, buckle your damn seatbelt because you're back on it. You're back in the narcissistic ride. You're back on the roller coaster. Wee! You've been going down and up. Wee! Wee! You might get love bombed at first. Might get your cheeks clapped. They might put the cheeks on you like they've never put them on you before. But guess what? At the end of the day, at the end of the day, they're going to revert back to their previous behaviors or worse. And then you're going to be mad as hell that you wasted time. That's, what, that's one thing so many people say. Like, I wasted so much time on this person. I, I don't like you don't have the full knowledge base of what you're dealing with. But once you learn about narcissists, once you learn about toxic people and things like that, that and then you start going back then after you have the knowledge. That's what I consider you wasting your time. Because before you didn't have the knowledge base. Now you have the knowledge and you're actively a participant in it now. You're an active participant. And when you, have, when you are an active participant and you share this with your friends and family, they start to leave you alone. And then you, felt, you start to feel alone. You're like, I have nobody to turn to because nobody wants to hear it anymore. But Lee, I'm talking about nobody wants to hear it anymore. Don't, like, I'm just telling you, if they don't have any kind of experience with narcissists, or even if they do have experience with narcissists, they might not want to hear it anymore, y'all. I think y'all got to get through your head. Like people don't want to hear you complaining. They just don't want like, about the same thing over and over again. Wow. You went back. Yikes. And then they'll disappear from your life. And then you'll be back. You'll, you'll hold it against your friends. You're like, my friends are not, were not there for me. People get tired, y'all. They see you keep going back to a toxic ass situation. They, they, they tired of talking about it. They tired of hearing about it. And guess what? To keep them in your life, you'll start to hide your relationship. This one, you, this, this is when you wait, you know, you're wasting time and you're embarrassed and you know, you're doing something you shouldn't be doing. You start hiding your relationship. From your friends and family you start sneaking around with your ex-partner because you know what people are going to say which is indicative that you're doing the wrong thing you sound like you're 14 15 16 years old again 17 years old you sound like a damn kid now you've been re reverted back to your childhood ways to be with a childish ass person think about it like that y'all put that in perspective you go back you go to hiding your relationship like you are an adolescent child because you know you because you're embarrassed to be with this person so should you be with this person? Should you hoover yourself back? No, believe the trauma bond is strong. I know the trauma bond is strong. That's what I'm telling you. That's what I'm here talking to you now. I understand the strong, but you're not going to get sympathy from too many people. Even people well-versed in narcissism get tired of hearing from you, hearing about it. Even your therapist is going to get tired of hearing about it. Sooner or later, sir or ma'am, you, you, you're going to have to get off the damn horse. Sooner or later. You're going to try to get out. You're going to have to get out the horse sooner or later. You're going to have to stop. You had made you. You're going to have to decide. I can't be here for you. I can't help you through this whole thing. You're going to have to decide. Your therapist might fire you. Your coach might fire you. Your friends might fire you from their life. Your parents might fire you from their life. My, they, they my parents. They're going to be there for y'all. I'm telling you, your parents will get tired of hearing about it. 
get tired. Your partner might get tired of hearing about. I'm just telling you. So if you're dealing with a narcissist or a toxic person, don't hoover yourself. Count your blessings. Protect yourself. Prepare for the hoover, but don't wait around for it. Just in case they do hoover you, prepare for it. Prepare to say no. Build that no contact muscle up strong and then keep moving forward. You have to, because if you don't, buckle up. Buckle up. Let's talk about it. Shout out to I Speak 1906. But anyways, y'all, I had to cut this thing short. I have to go to one on ones this morning, this beautiful Sunday morning. Um, live in person. I keep having to shout this off from the rooftops. Live in person meetup, J- J- July 23rd in Durham, North Carolina at the Honeysuckle at Lakewood in Durham, North Carolina, July 23rd at, from 3 p.m. until. There'll be a lot of people coming through, y'all. We got a lot of people coming through. Um, me, Raw Motivations, uh, Abuses of Breeze. Her name is Bree. She's in the area. Uh, Dr. Carrie McAvoy, who wrote the book, who wrote, look, she wrote this book. She's going to be there. Um, some more people are coming, y'all. So come through, say hey, just, you know, live in person meet up. Come say hey to Mental Illness and Raw Motivations and all the other folks. Thank y'all for tuning in. Mental Illness is out. Peace.